Hi everyone, my name is Pavaka and I'm here with Marianne. For those of you that might not know Marianne, is it okay that I say a few words uh -huh, about you? Okay, uh -huh. Marianne. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Marianne is an amazing woman. And except for being uh, one of the people that are in human design since the earliest days, um, that has been teaching human design for many, many years, mm. and has been a close friend to Ra mm, and mm, a lot of mm. other things in the human design and the human design community mm. knows you so uh -huh. I don't need to speak too much uh -huh. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, but the thing that I love most about Marianne is that she brought immersion into the world mm. and for those of you who don't know what it is this is what we're going to be speaking about today the workshop immersion and mm. I think your life works we can say right that that's that's kind of your life's work what would you say Mm -hmm. Mm. It feels like, um, it doesn't feel like I brought it into the world. It just seems like it came through me. Okay. You know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's something that in the early days, I was two years in my experiment and Ra had asked me to do experiential workshops. Mm. And I went at that time, mm, <laughs> and, and uh I, I was, you know, if you're in this experiment, it's, you're falling apart for a few years. Everything's changing. Everything's rearranging. You know, who you are is falling away. Who you are is starting to reveal itself. So it's, it wasn't a time I was ready to give any workshops or help others. But um, it started with him. Uh, he did a Biza events around his birthday. And actually, tomorrow's his birthday. Oh, yeah, really? wow. it's his birthday tomorrow, that. and uh, that, and it's cool that we're doing uh -huh. this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I just flashed on that saying <laughs> that because every year at the Ibiza event, and so one of those years he asked if I would work with generators. So it was the first time I was with a group of generators and just kind of helping them get into their sounds. And then the next year he asked if I would uh, do another generator workshop. More, I think it was a two day. And then the following year, he asked if I would work with projectors, and that was uh, deep for me, very mm -hmm. deep. I have a lot of compassion for projectors. It's, it's not an easy life mm -hmm. with the conditioning field and also just where do you fit in all of that. Mm -hmm. and, then, uh, and then from there, I wrote a book about my 10-year journey, and I was, you know, doing readings and sessions with people were deeper for me individuals to help them live this and then it uh, I don't know I was asked to do a workshop with a lot of different people I went aha uh -huh, so I showed up and that began what has what became the immersion it was uh uh it was over a few years but the immersion experience itself has been I'd say about 15 years now. Wow. Of just that kind of That's a immersion. long time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and do you feel like, well, this is just what comes up. Do you feel like speaking about the changes in it or, or, or what it has become? You know, we've been speaking about how we just had a two-day, um, you called it immersion mentoring, so it wasn't a regular immersion, but it was a, it was a gathering of, of people that have been mm, in your immersions mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. years and I was telling you sharing with you that in my experience it was one of the mm. deepest mm. really deepest events that I've ever that I've ever experienced and um, and it was so I feel so blessed you know to be mm. in this place where you can really see correctness in a uh -huh. in a large group of people you Isn't know it it's, incredible? it's so rare uh -huh. it's so uh -huh. rare you know uh -huh. I mean it's rare even to see correctness between two three people mm -hmm. but let alone you know 25 people sitting together yeah that moment of silence that we had where it was just you know sitting together a group of people and just feeling comfortable to be silent uh -huh. and the mind is not saying oh something's happening we need what's, to say yeah, something yeah, what to yeah. do what's next you know just yeah. just yeah. being comfortable yeah and this is or well, to me it feels like you know the fruit of all this mm, 15 mm, years mm, of your work mm, mm, mm. so do you have anything to say about that about the process of uh -huh, immersion uh-huh um 
for me, what was difficult for me <laughs> was that um, in the early days when people would gather, a group of people would come to what I had called an immersion um, to just relax inside myself mm. and not let my own mind guide the immersion mm. and not let my own mind um, talk to other people. It was really whatever is in me, that essence of who this is, <laughs> um, to respond to the essence of the other. And in the beginning of an immersion, especially if it's all new people, uh, it's it's really not easy because what's sitting there is a lot of mind. Um, a lot of people know their design and they know a lot of knowledge about human design. Um, but there's a, a an embodiment <laughs> of the knowledge going into the body and that for me mm. that only happens mm. from it only happened for me through living life according to my strategy and that's not easy that mm. is not easy it was the hardest thing I ever did mm. I mean really I mean I was on the spiritual search I do zazen looking at a dot on the wall cross-legged <laughs> fasting for 10 days two weeks I was a piece of cake this was oh, really hard. Oh, yeah, It was so hard. I felt like I was dying. And in a sense, who I thought I was was dying. So I, I knew from my own experience how difficult this is for people, how hard it is. I mean, Ra used to say it's for the children, you know. And, you know, for adults, it's really hard because the conditioning has been alive for so long. So for me, the immersion was always a space to come together and to be able to fall in, mm. to fall in, to be more in the body. The mm. body is so aware and sensitive. And this, the dynamics between types I see this. I mean, I can see when a generator is not correct with a, a manifestor, a projector is not correct with a generator. Two generators are just, it's like, it's like the matrix is like. Hmm, disturbed. Uh-huh. It's disturbance. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There's a disturbance. And actually, you always see most of the time out there is it's just the all disturbance. That is. It's all this, it's the, uh -huh. the disturbed world. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so for me with immersions, you know, it's not about the person's chart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's just not. It's about, you know, I would have name tags and it would be the person's name. And often day one would just say waiting mm -hmm. <laughs> because for me, waiting is really where the transformation happens. And even manifestors have to wait. Mm -hmm. Ra had to wait for his splenic authority to move something forward. He couldn't listen to his mind. So there's waiting for everyone. And uh, what, I, what I found in working with many people is that it was, because this is the old condition, it was like, how do I get to doing? Yes. How you do know? I do it? Uh -huh. How uh -huh. do I do waiting? Uh, well, not even how do, how do I do waiting? It's like waiting to respond. And so people just want to respond mm. and then go off. Okay. And, and like let, make respond to doing. That's what you mean. Mm, no, it's, it's not even that. It's like, because I know myself, I was so upset I wasn't a manifester. <laughs> Because I had lived it life long. It looks like really fun to be a generator. I must say, as a manifestor. But it looks really fun. Wow, it's simple. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, no. Only when you get there is it simple. Yeah. Like you getting sure. to you is simple. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. but getting there is not simple. Um, no, it was like... Uh, my waiting in the beginning was I was waiting for someone to ask me a yes/no question so I could do something. Mm, like an active way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like, 
Yeah, and it was. It sounds it, even violent a little bit, you mm, know, like inside, like well, like fighting with yourself, kind mm, of. Mm, no, know? it was like I. You know, it's not just the mind, the the body's condition mm. too. The body's has all these patterns. Mm. The cells of the body. That's why it takes seven years because, you know, the cells need to be exchanged with new cells, and but the cells in my body in the early days were used to doing. Mm. So it was like, all right, I want someone to ask me something so I can go do oh, something. Oh, I get now yeah. what you're saying. Uh huh. Okay, now uh -huh. I got it. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So for me, it became that waiting became slowly something that was like, that's what helped me to fall in, mm. was to relax in the waiting. And, and so that's why I would put the name with the waiting, because that was one of the hardest things, was just waiting. And how long do you have to wait? And how long do I have to wait for my emotional wave? Yeah, and, I, oh. I, I, we still, when I do, or me and Smandar, when we do the immersions, we still uh, start like that. By awesome. the way, we take your example, uh -huh. and we start just with waiting, you yes, know, and watching it's... what waiting is for you in your life, without even knowing, and some people, they come new, they're, uh -huh. they're not it's, even they from don't human even design. Know. And which is easy yeah. sometimes. They don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. it's amazing. So that it's waiting is, is like, it's it's like for me the waiting is being pregnant with yourself mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's where the birthing of yourself no matter what type and, and this is actually what immersion is about mm -hmm. right for me mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah it was uh someone when I was asking me someone that did an immersion with me asked me I wrote something on Facebook and, and she said uh you're still learning to wait in the also in the you know in the mentoring uh, workshop uh -huh. I was like we're not learning to wait we're just waiting we're you just know? there <laughs> we're yeah just there. yeah yeah like, yeah it's not waiting like, anymore yeah I think this is the beauty and I think that's what we felt with all those people it, it's 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 what I saw for myself I was waiting 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 and then I hit boredom and in the past I would always go do something but I stayed through boredom and then there was being mm. So there was no waiting in the workshop, mm -hmm. the mentoring mm, workshop. In true. the immersion workshop, yes. <laughs> because most people are still coming from their thoughts driving them. But the, the mentoring workshop, right. everyone had fallen into themselves. And then it's just being. Mm. So they were that's, all... There that's was what all, was so amazing yes. about it. Mm -hmm. It was so amazing. Uh -huh. in, in the immersion, it takes... It takes time. There's like the process. Mm -hmm, Do you want to, to talk about the there. process of immersion? You know. What, oh wow! <laughs> you need to breathe just to just to talk about it. Ah, uh, it's it's quite something. It's uh, because what I got to see for myself is my mind did not want me to live this. Mm. It wanted to keep control. It was running my life. It it was used to running my life, um, and. It's when people first gather in, in the immersion space, it's like the, the mind is there protecting itself, you know? So mm. it's, just, it's just kind of a process and it's different every time because it depends who's there. And the one thing that was clear for me was I was in the immersion too, even though I was the facilitator, you know? And um, in the early days, it was it was really difficult because I'd be sitting there, and there, I need to wait for something to arise to say, and I would just be waiting, and my mind would be saying, "You've got to say something. You've got these people paid this money. You better <laughs> say something. They're here to hear, you know, this whole thing." And what I needed to do was just say that. I just say, "Hey guys, you know, my mind's driving me crazy. This is what it's saying, but I need to wait." For the words to arise, I can't go from da 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 and human. You know, it's it. That's not what this is about. Mm -hmm. There's no agenda. Yeah, it's just being present with whoever comes, and so we begin with waiting, and then maybe the second day, there's a p. Your name, of course, your name. Um, and I think also with the name tag with the waiting on it there were blue squiggles or not and the blue like squiggles was emotional waves so that was how you know for emotional people you could see okay 
they're waiting and they're emotional. Mm. So it's almost double waiting. Double the weight. Yeah. <laughs> double the weight. <laughs> and then the next day it was just, um, I think, uh, wait to be invited, wait to respond, wait for the universe mm. to push you yes, for the manifesto. Yes, that was such a gift you gave me, you know, when, when you said that, wait for the world to push you. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's what I'm waiting. I mean, I knew I was waiting not to listen to my mind. Mm -hmm. But in a way, everybody, they have the strategy. You know, you wait for something from outside. Right. And for me, it was, okay, what am I waiting for? Okay, my inner authority. Mm -hmm. but, you know, but the inner authority is not the thing itself. Right. It's uh -huh, just uh -huh, the tool uh -huh, uh -huh. for the movement uh -huh. of life. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. move through us and for me when you said that it was like okay now I understand uh -huh. this is what I'm waiting for as a manifester mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like for you wait to respond to the world yeah I'm waiting would... for a person in a way in yeah. a sense and it's the world yeah. coming yes. to you uh -huh. Uh -huh. the world coming to you uh -huh. respond and for me it was like okay so what's the role of the world here you know yeah yeah it's it more was... the the uh, the the universe almost because you could be yeah. sitting alone and all of a sudden oh yeah that. it's not people uh -huh, the world. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's all, yeah, all yeah. that is yes you know? uh-huh 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 yeah so that yeah. was there were so many things you know in the emergence just little things that you said that mm -hmm. for me were were breakthroughs yeah you know yeah and yeah but but except for what you say you know it's the the gift is just that you were yourself mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. that's the example mm -hmm. you know because we come to the immersion not to get something uh -huh. we come to be ourselves uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, uh -huh. and for me also uh -huh. you know giving an immersion that's the gift that I'm there to be myself mm -hmm. and it's so challenging in this world mm -hmm. huh? to mm -hmm. just just be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know workshops often um the projection on the person who's the facilitator is that they know and mm. and I don't know mm. and and that's not it at all it's 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 that inside each of us we have our own truth mm. and and we have our own way to move and through using the tools of human design the simple tools the simple is so profound Oh my God, that's where transformation is. That's where you the mutation the is. Uh huh. I, when you when you talk uh -huh. about the simple, I love role, it. Uh, uh, I, I can love feel it. your frequency. I love it. It was just. I was like my little mantra, you know, in the early days. Wait to respond. Wait to respond. You know going to courses with Ra and he's teaching everything and I'm there and I'm taking it in but I'm not trying to learn it. I'm just there to take it into my body but you know it was my mantra way to respond. If no one asked me to go for lunch my body would get up and go out the door and be alone because that was what it was all about for me because uh I really felt this could be what I had been looking for my whole life. And so when he said seven years, I went, seven <laughs> years. I've been searching for like, I don't know, 25 years before this came. So I was like, oh, what, seven yeah. more years, you know? And I knew, I knew, I would say about maybe three months in, even though it was hell, mm. that, this was different. Mm. This was different than anything I had ever done. Mm. Any meditation, any groups, any uh, anything um, that it was before it was like I was giving myself away everywhere. I was a pretend manifester. So I was like, oh, can I help you? Mm. And calling people and having parties and organizing and all of this. So it was just this, my energy was just dissipating mm. everywhere. And by the waiting, it was like calling it all home. Mm. So the energy just came back. And then this thing started happening inside of just, you know, it took time, but that's what I felt. Something aligned and it was mm. like, woof. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting uh -huh. that you say it like that. You know, for uh -huh. me, maybe as a manifestor, it felt from the beginning right when I went into the experiment it took me a year and a half since I heard of human design until I, mm -hmm. I really went in 
but the minute I decided inside, you know, to wait for for clarity mm-hmm. and then initiate, it was like immediate, whoosh, uh-huh. like that. And what yeah. I felt is like that before, I was inside, you know, going like this to be in the world. Yeah. I, I was kind of like, yeah. And then I suddenly became straight. It was there. You and were. And all yeah. that went out. Uh-huh. And it was like <laughs> the world went crazy. Uh-huh. Crazy. Because uh-huh. that was, alignment was always inside, but yeah. you, it was kind was, of, uh, you weren't comfortable with who you were. I was trying to, you know, to, to um, yeah, I was basically trying trying to, to, to keep the status quo, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. So inside, I was kind of... And then when it became straight, all yeah. that went outside. But yeah. it happened immediately, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, it, was, it was shocking. Yeah. It was like the world was going, like in the Matrix, you know? Like, <laughs> whoa, what is this? <laughs> it's interesting, yeah, yeah when, we, when we talk. This mm-hmm. is a part of the thing that I like so much about immersion you know you speak your type mm-hmm. and then i hear uh-huh. uh, i hear when people speak and i can see the differences you know uh-huh. like you say you see it in your uh-huh. eyes i can uh-huh. my mind kind of grasps yes it. Uh-huh. and when it grasps the other it grasps myself as well and yeah. then this and all this dynamics and it's uh, so gorgeous interesting. too it's much more interesting uh-huh. than learning uh-huh. the information you know uh-huh. it's uh-huh. It's like the information is is coming from inside, you know, mm-hmm. like owning it, mm-hmm. living what, it. Yeah, it's alive. Yes, it's, it's alive. alive. Yeah, it's alive. Like a live, yeah. a live uh-huh. knowledge yeah. inside coming uh-huh. out. Uh-huh. You know, speaking, you know, uh, speaking out of your design the way that it is, you know, yeah. for you. Yeah, and I love that when people speak from there, you can just it has such a ring of truth. It's like it's so yummy. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if my truth is, it doesn't matter because we each have our own seeing. And then we have our each individual types and then, you know, each gate goes all the way to base. I mean, our uniqueness is, I mean, infinite and no two people. I mean, all of it. So it's, it's just, I just love it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I feel, um. I don't know, something came up to share that's not so much about the immersion. Do you want to share? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, you know, I met human design when there was no type. There was no strategy. Um, and, of course, no profile, no incarnation, cross, no variant, all of that that came after. Um, and... I thought it was an amazing system. I mean, I just thought, wow, look, I have that gate. I've got that channel. Wow, that's really accurate. And it, you know, human design is about accepting yourself and loving yourself. And I like to have fun. So the not self I created, I kind of liked and had fun with, you know, Mm. and was accepting it. Mm. And, um, so I really thought human design was for others. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I did. Because it was just channels and gates and lines, which already, uh, I'm not in any way, well, I mean, that was amazing. But it was about three years after I met human design. I had the black book. I had the white book. I had some... Um, Cassettes, that was what was there back then, audio cassettes. And um, I hadn't met Ra yet, and I kept saying, one of these days I got to meet this man, uh-huh. you know? I was, I, had, I hadn't taken courses, but I was friends with the people who were running it in America. And um, Ra came to town, and he happened to come to, to Sedona, and uh, my friend was staying with me. And he brought type right then. And I tell you, that was it. And I know there are some people out there saying that that was all made up. And I'm here to say it was not. Nothing, nothing that incredible 
and so transformational and mutative could have been made up by anyone. That was received from the universe to help humans live in this life so we can have some harmony within ourselves and with others. Mm -hmm. And this is so important because I know there's BS out there about this was made up, he, he did this to make money, and they these people only have the real human design. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Man, let me tell you, if I hadn't met type and found out about my strategy, I'd still be lost in searching because I was searching, mm -hmm. and I'm not. Mm, wow. I'm not. I love you, Marianne. <laughs> oh, you speak in my old body. It's like... <laughs> oh, when I was and reading... And I love that something. serious face. Oh, you know, I've never seen you this serious. Oh, it was my like, goodness. don't mess with me. Uh -huh, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. It's like, when I read some stuff online, I was growling. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how can I you? Understand. Only someone who has not lived this could say such BS... And I'm sorry, but yeah. I had to no. say that because yeah. this is so you. precious. I... This is transformational. I am not searching. I am so relaxed in myself. It's like I never expected to live this. I never, ever. All my ideas of what was possible through spiritual searching, oh, it's nothing compared to just being yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not spiritual. It's just yeah. what's supposed to be. Yeah. We were born it's the to nature, be this. Our nature. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's what the immersion's all yeah. about to get help people get to their nature, huh? Right. It's yeah. amazing that the thing is supposed to be that's supposed to be <sighs> the easiest, uh -huh. you know, the most natural. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I... my granddaughter. It was interesting. My granddaughter. Oh, it's so sweet. She's a school teacher. She lives in, in Bogota, Colombia. And uh, she asked me if I would train her to be a guide. And I went, aha, uh -huh, and I asked her back because she has sacral authority. And she has been raised as a generator mm. since she was six. Oh. And she's a Lucky. six, too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And... When she got to the part about the 6-2 and those first 28 years being psychologically disturbing, I mean, they were for me. Yeah. I mean, she didn't understand what uh -uh. it's all about. Uh -uh. Wow. She said, I understand the trial and error, but I don't understand the wow. psychologically. And I wanted to kill myself wow. after 28 years. It's wow. like, get me out of this life. I've had enough, you know? Wow. That's yeah. Strong. So it's like, this is, mm. this is incredible knowledge. And it, it it was it was it was brought on a neutrino stream from the galaxies. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, you know, if you know any quantum physics, you know this. Well, there's no time and space. There's just the isness of of we're all connected, and it's the illusion of our separateness. And it's, uh, I mean, that 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 came through and people always want to know you know how could he have taught so much if it came i don't know seven days eight days mm -hmm. i don't even remember mm -hmm. anymore. eight days yeah and it was like it wasn't that the voice talked to him in words it mm -hmm. would take forever mm -hmm. it just felt like boom it's boom a transmission boom. uh-huh uh-huh mm -hmm. uh-huh and and it felt like you know russian dolls mm -hmm. You have that, and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one, and and it's just, uh, yeah, it's 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 such a gift. It's such an amazing tool, and um, and I love that he said, "Don't believe me." That's what he said after he gave me my whole re reading. He said, "Don't believe a word I've said. You experiment and see mm -hmm. for yourself." And I love that, and and. That, I think, is so important. Don't believe anything you learn in human design. Yes, it's incredible knowledge, but see what's true for you. And for me, the only way I could get there was first to live according to my strategy. And then, for me, I have sacral authority. Respond from mm -hmm. my sacral authority. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then I get to see what I'm meant to see. And no one else is going to see that. They can't. And then we get to be here and 
you tell me what you see and and it's fun uh-huh. life can be fun you know? uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was very my life was very serious in my mind you know before yeah. human design uh-huh. I, I must say it became very light mm-hmm. you know it's mm-hmm. light it's the space you speak mm-hmm. about if you're the space mm-hmm. then it's much lighter mm-hmm. and even when I go through you know like I told you the sixth year now and yeah and going through some stuff it feels so so different because I'm the one watching it uh-huh. you know it's happening uh-huh. inside me it could be uncomfortable you know it can be intense yeah but I told you the other day I had a few days where I said if I if I wasn't this you know what I am because of human design I would be going through a mental breakdown uh-huh. you know my uh-huh. mind was like uh-huh. Uh-huh. but but mm-hmm. I'm not that you And you know and home. I knew it before mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. I knew it before mentally but for me human design was it took me from all this mental I called it the the spiritual matrix it's like I woke up from the spiritual uh-huh, matrix. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. and I saw it was a uh-huh, matrix uh-huh. I said oh my god it's just another uh-huh. story uh-huh. Yeah, a spiritual story it looks nicer but it's still a story you know and oh, I came no, down no. here oh, oh my god this is my story uh-huh. I'm a character in the story uh-huh. a cool character yeah, yeah cool yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, I like this character uh-huh. you know? yes not trying to be some kind of character that I think I should be you uh-huh. know? yeah and I think that was what was so difficult for me because you know um, I became a sannyasin so I I died to the past mm. in a sense when mm. I became a sannyasin and and that's when I started to really enjoy life and mm-hmm. celebrate mm-hmm. but I was still longing you know and the longing didn't go away so that was very difficult for me because I realized I had just put another a different mm-hmm. costume on yes. and I had to get naked mm-hmm. and I would and in a sense it felt For me it felt like I died so many times yeah. oh my god yeah I mean I it just saying in this life I had a few lifetimes already. yeah uh-huh 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 because it's like this discovering and in human design we call it the not self and for me it's just what has been created and because there was no choice other than to create that to try to survive in the world we don't even know we're doing it you know and so that creation has falls away slowly but the kernel is the true self it's just hidden in there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know there's nothing to get there's no goal there's nothing to attain it's already there you know it's just getting to it mm-hmm. yeah so it's like uh, and I think I, I think that's all the what the immersion is mm. it's it's using the simple to um, to go back to the simple mm-hmm to go back to the simple and also to use the tools of human design of strategy mm-hmm. and you know the different types and then if you're emotional or not if you have sounds or not this this is a covers a lot of people mm-hmm. on the planet mm-hmm. you know and you And then what I got to see is is being a generator um, I mean Ra didn't teach aura until I had completed my seven years and so when I started the experiment it was like okay the game is manifestors initiate so I don't go up to the manifestor generators respond and projectors wait for the invitation and and I I could never understand why when my generator friends would say something to me telling me mm. you know because not everyone knew human design and I didn't tell anyone about it because I had to wait for someone to ask me you know um, <laughs> then when they say Mary and you da, 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 and I go it didn't bother me uh-huh. but I noticed that I When projectors did that it bothered me and I couldn't understand because I didn't know aura so then when I learned about aura it was like oh my mm. god it was like all the light bulbs went off you know so a lot of the immersions are about the new dance that can happen between mm. projectors and generators which is really 
the new, what would you call it, the new, hmm, paradigm? Hmm. Something for the yeah. planet, you know? it is a new paradigm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, I'm a manifester, but I can say that, that each time that I was in your immersion, mm -hmm. first of all, each time I felt like, oh, my God, I'm starting from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, okay, now I'm starting my experiment. <laughs> this is each time. And it happens to me when I give immersions as well. But but the other thing is that I, I use, like, each immersion I feel this is what life is supposed to be like, mm -hmm. you know, like as a manifester, just having this honoring that people uh -huh. don't approach me uh -huh. and I don't uh -huh. have to feel this anger that has nothing uh -huh. to do with psychology, what I think about them, if I like them or don't like them, uh -huh. it has uh -huh. nothing to do with it, uh -huh. you know, and just the basic movement in life mm -hmm. is so incorrect mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we feel it in our bodies mm -hmm. and to be in the immersion and and have the sense of what it can be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know this paradigm that you speak mm -hmm. about the potential mm -hmm. of human c communication mm. that it can be it's it communion be, then yeah communion. yeah yeah it's not this yeah it's not even yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I remember you in, in the first immersion, I, I remember it so well, I loved it so much because one of the things, you know, you want to experience things in the body. So uh, one of the things was someone would sit alone in the corner mm. with their eyes closed mm. and everyone would be out of the oar. So we would be far away. And then different people, I would just ask different people to walk towards whoever was sitting in the corner. And um, when you did that, it was like you just, the, as a projector came towards you and a generator came mm -hmm. towards you. And what you said with your eyes closed is, I just feel anger. Yeah. And then someone else was going towards her and you said, this has to be a manifesto. I, I don't feel any that. anger. I remember. And that. it was a manifesto. I, yeah. I felt was... her heart. She has the ego defined. Uh -huh. So I felt the ego, but it, I did not feel this anger. Uh -huh. I will never forget this. I the will... first time, <laughs> wow, that was so strong, man. Yeah. man you know, yeah. I felt it was like, oh my God, this, you know, this aura we're talking about. It's not some concept. You know, it's not a concept. <laughs> it's real. Uh -huh. I remember the first one came towards me was Hunt. Uh -huh. I mean, I like him as a nice uh -huh. guy, you know, uh -huh. but I was with my eyes closed. I didn't know who it was, and I felt like a dragon. Uh -huh. You know that I was, <laughs> I was holding, I was breathing like, not to, not to spit fire. You know, it was so strange. And then, and then I opened my eyes. I saw he was, he was like four meters from me. Yes. I thought, oh my god, it felt like I was breathing so much just to let him. <laughs> he thought he was. Much I thought he was. <laughs> It's so that was amazing. Crazy. Wow. It's so amazing. That was crazy. Yeah. And that I think was mm. always shocking for mm. people. Because yes. then they'd open their eyes and I know once in a while I'd walk towards someone and with sometimes it would be a projector and I'd walk towards them and they'd go like this to stop, like a long time away, because that's they something you it. could do. They would yeah. feel. Then they open their eyes and said, "But I love you." I said, "It has nothing to do with love. Not personal. It's not personal. No. It's like you have enough. You don't want any more of that sacral buzz or whatever else is going yeah. into you." And it's so beautiful mm. to see. It's that. so freeing. Mm -hmm. It's non-personal understanding uh -huh. that, is, that has nothing to do with the person and what you're thinking about uh -huh. them. Yeah, you know, it's just the fields, mm -hmm. just the aura mm -hmm. speaking, and you get to see that. Yeah, yeah. that's so. It's wow. it's it's really just that, huh? Mm. And other games we play, mm. like centers, centers wow. leave the room, type leaves the room, and everyone who's remaining then says what it feels like when we come back together, and that's it's it's amazing. Feeling to the see centers in uh -huh. the body. Uh -huh. Wow, I remember that also, the first yeah. time, the first immersion. Yeah. That was shocking. Yeah. You know? I mean, you talk about the centers in human design, you talk about the knowledge, but then feeling what happens when all the, I don't know, defined egos walk out and then they come back in. Yeah. And how different it is than all the roots going out, uh -huh, coming uh -huh, in, or uh -huh. the heads, or whatever uh -huh, it is, uh -huh. and each center feeling a distinct, you know, first of all, a distinct uh, uh, experience. 
sensation in, in the, the body. body. Wow. Yeah, it's not the mind thinking yeah. about it. It's and you, also you seeing it. the psychology of the mind, mm. what it speaks. Uh huh. You know when this happens, yeah. and, and each time it's different. It's yeah. Wow, that's yeah. That's an eye opener. Uh huh. Really, for real. And you're having fun now playing with these, yeah. huh? That's so cool. It. I'm so I happy. Yeah, this mentoring workshop for me was, I, I, I did my last workshop, my last immersion, I think it was April or May, yes, I can't April. even remember, and uh, it felt like a completion, and then um, um, a group from Taiwan, I was asked if I would do like a training for people to be able to do immersions in Taiwan. And I just said, training, I can't do a training because you have to kind of be yourself and you can't train anyone <laughs> to be yourself. So I can't train anyone to do this because you need to be yourself. So, and it was beautiful. I, I responded. So they all came to Sedona and, and it was very beautiful and very rich and very deep. And I was so grateful that they came. And it was then I was going to stop my human design work December 1st, but something didn't feel right inside. So I asked my husband to ask me some questions and it became clear I needed to offer that to those who have done all these immersions with me from around the world. And, and so that happened and then these people came and oh, it was just so yummy because you know, like you were saying, they had already fallen in. Mm. So when we met, it was just not waiting. It was just being. And then just exchanging and questions and me talking and sharing raw stories. Mm. And I mean, all it, it was such it was a sweet... so deep. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It was so deep. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. many recognitions uh -huh. I had. Uh-huh. Uh, just from this... It's, it's always amazing, like nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember uh -huh. this, and the first time I was thinking, okay, what's happening, what's happening? What are we doing here, you know? The mind is like... <laughs> I know, it and, feels like nothing's happening. It's and then really, everything is happening. Everything is Inside. happening. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I remember the second or third day of the immersion, I thought... It's like nothing is happening outside, but inside there has never been a workshop. Yeah. Never ever that did to me what the immersion yeah. did to me. And I have been in some <laughs> workshops, you know, for I've been walking this path for 20 something years. Yeah, yeah. But this is, you know, because it's the, the inside work, mm -hmm. uh -huh. true, uh -huh. truly, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. To letting it all fall inside and having a home to fall into. Because mm. so much of the spiritual search. There were so many beautiful things that were said, but it didn't have this home mm. to fall into. Mm. And and with this, with using the just the simple tools from human design, ah, oh, it just you just it's like the conduit to go home. Yeah, you know. And uh, for me, the workshop was so beautiful because it felt like a completion for me with mm. my work and a beginning of something mm. else. Mm. Ah, yes, that I was... could see you like a grandmother. Uh -huh. you know, I like... am a grandmother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The grandmother of immersion. Now, <laughs> now the kids are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. It just that. feels like that. It feels so beautiful, mm. and um, yeah, and and we each have our fractal lines. You know, I remember people would come to me when Ra was sitting in uh, living in Sedona and. They would say, oh, Miriam, will you look at my chart? And I go, uh-huh, but, you know, you really should go to Ra. He really knows this. And then one day Ra said, Miriam, would you stop this? They're coming to you. They want it from you, you know? And my mind's thinking, oh, I can't give it, you know? Uh -huh. So I feel the same that even if the mind's a little nervous for people offering this, mm -hmm. that everyone has their fractal. Mm -hmm. And... You can only receive it from that person, you know. Mm. So it just, it just, ah, <sighs> ah, uh, oh, so good. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you so much for uh -huh. bringing this thing into the world, mm. or you know, helping uh -huh, it come uh -huh. into the world. Uh -huh, yeah, however, yeah, it was a joy. Mm. It truly was a joy. I loved it, and then it was enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> enough is enough. The yeah. sacral, yeah. the wisdom of the sacral. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, what is it? I, I always get mixed up. I think it's, I'm starting my 11th 
cycle. When you mm. turn 70, you mm. start your 11th cycle on Earth, right? Um, is it, you mean seven cycles of, of it will, it, the cycles of seven? Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah, you would be... The, yeah, I begin my 11th cycle, right. so it feels like, okay, now it's time. Yeah. I found what I'm searching for. I just want to have fun. I don't want to work. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, play, you know, yes. like I said, if people do this, you know, I might be a guest somewhere, mm. but n- nothing, nothing like holding the space and mm. all that kind of stuff. But mm. anyway, I'm just so happy you're here and you're doing this. It's so exciting. Yes, for me as well. Yeah. I'm happy to be here. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy to be talking to you like that and giving uh-huh. this to the world. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy you said yes to this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, and me too. I got to say what I needed to say. Yeah. That was so strong. It's been in me for so long. And it was like one of these days, one of these days. And then the yeah. day was here. To, yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm free of that. I've said it. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say? Mm-mm. Okay, so are we done? Uh-huh. Okay, uh-huh. thank you, uh-huh. Marianne. Thank yeah. you, guys, whoever was listening yeah. to this. Yeah, yes. And, and enjoy your ride. Be it's yourself. an incredible ride as yourself. Yeah. Bye. Bye.